Hi everybody, welcome to The Vegas Vegan. Today we are making chicken Caesar salad veganized. Subscribe. Chicken Caesar salad, a restaurant favorite everywhere. And it's so easy to veganize. Just by making a couple of vegan swaps, you too can be having this delicious, healthy salad at home. It's huge, it's like an entree. So here are my vegan swaps. Instead of real chicken, we're using Gardein chickenless product. We're also using Follow Your Heart for the Caesar dressing and the cheese. We're just going to rinse our organic, non-GMO romaine lettuce leaves. And aren't these beautiful? Okay, and then we're gonna pat them dry. If you don't pat the leaves, the wet water is gonna make your dressing runny. So be sure to pat the leaves dry. And then it's really important to chop this pretty good sized. I'm using one inch pieces, and that's because we want our leaf to be able to support the cheese, the meat, the croutons. This is gonna be a heavy salad. We're using our Follow Your Heart Vegan Caesar Dressing. I'm using about two tablespoons and I'm giving this salad a good toss to thoroughly combine the dressing on each leaf. Then I'm taking some peppercorns, fresh ground, and a little bit of the Himalayan pink salt. Here's my Follow Your Heart Vegan Cheese Shreds. They're delicious. There's a lot to be said about vegan cheeses. They are winning awards and they're so good. And here's the other version of Follow Your Heart Parmesan. So we're using both kinds of Parmesan in this salad and it's uh, gonna be delicious. We're gonna give this a toss and thoroughly combine just like that. Now we're going to heat our pan with some extra virgin non-GMO olive oil. I don't use a lot, just a little bit. And here I'm going to take my favorite Gardein meatless product. It's a uh, get rid of the teriyaki packet. I can use that for later, but these cook up really, really quick. Two minutes each side and you're going to find there's no grease. Um, even though we're using a tablespoon of the olive oil and look how easy this separates so you want bite-sized pieces for your salad and ta-da cruelty-free delicious chicken so we're losing weight we're being healthy and it cooks in no time now I went many years ago to macaroni grill and I loved how they dipped their fresh baked bread into their olive oil so here's my spin I just add some Italian seasoning to a plate of olive oil I kick it up a notch with some red pepper flakes and just use a, enough to taste I like things kind of pow spicy some peppercorns you can also add some balsamic vinegar to this, make it your own, some Himalayan pink salt. It's way better than that white bleached iodized stuff. Then I'm adding a little bit of Parmesan cheese, you know, kind of got this flow going on with the salad and the bread. Then I take my bakery fresh bread from Whole Foods and I just kind of run it all through and look at that. It's actually so much more better than just bread and butter. It's a yummy. You could actually take and make croutons that way too. Then I add my chicken. I've made sure that I cooled my chicken because if you add hot chicken, it will wilt your lettuce, y'all. So there's a pro tip. Let your chicken cool a few minutes and then add it. And then another pro tip, don't add your croutons until the very end because nobody likes a soggy crouton. We want that crunch that's traditionally known for our Caesar salad. We're going to give this a toss and serve and there you have it. Within minutes you have a meal y'all. Look at that. You can eat this for lunch, for dinner. You can even go a step further and add a wrap 
just wrap it in a burrito shell, a uh, flour tortilla, and there you go. Cruelty-free Caesar chicken salad. I hope you like my recipe. And for more restaurant recipes veganized, just click on any one of my videos. These days, it is so easy to make the switch and go vegan. Eating cruelty-free doesn't mean you have to give up on any of the tastes or flavors that you love. Hit that like and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at Vegas Vegan for Life. Shout out to my film crew of the day, Madison. I love you.